Hi guys! Welcome to the game that I'm going to be playing for my new Let's Play series, which is Grey Matter by Jane Jensen. And I know in my last video I said that there was a reason I wanted to play this um, in November. And the day I'm going to be posting this video is actually the 10th anniversary of this game. It was released on November 12th, 2010, which makes me very... Makes me feel very, very old, because I do remember when this game came out. Um, I actually beat this game the day I graduated high school. That's wild to me, because like I didn't play this game until two years after it came out, because um, I, when I was in high school, I was like deeply, deeply entrenched in Gabriel Knight. Then she released this game, and I'm like, well, Gabriel Knight, I've watched all the playthroughs. But this game, I don't want to, I don't want any spoilers, I just want to wait until I actually have money to play it to play the game. Um, because I was like a broke high school student, and I got money for my graduation, I got my own card, and I'm like, oh, I can actually play this now. Um, then I actually had to rebuy this game, because originally I bought it on Amazon, and then I went to go re-download it, and it's like, you don't own this game anymore, it's not on Amazon anymore, and I'm like, thanks Jeff Bezos. So, I own it on Steam now. Um, but yeah, this game also might come as a surprise to a lot of people, because if you know me, you know that I never shut the hell up about Gabriel Knight. And you'd probably be like, you know, the first Jay Jensen game you're playing for your channel, and it's not Gabriel Knight. I will eventually be playing Gabriel Knight. I will eventually be playing all the Jane Jensen games because every single one of them lives rent-free in my brain. But I feel like I haven't talked about this game as much as I've talked about the other ones, and I don't know why that is because I think it's a great game. It's got beautiful art, beautiful soundtrack, beautiful everything. I think this game is like the prettiest game ever. So um, enough of me babbling. Uh, let's just get right into it, because I am actually really, really excited to get back into this. So, let's go. Zoom function. I think I read somewhere that these go by pretty fast in newer versions, because usually they have facts you can read. Um, yeah, like right there, but, um, oh, here we go. Damn it. It's completely like dead. Assistant for Dr. Styles. I'm the new assistant. Yes. I'm the new assistant for Dr. Styles. Oh God. I'm the new assistant for Dr. Styles. 
Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. I can't believe what I did last night. I need to get out of here before they figure out who I really am. Alright, tutorial. Learn how to play by helping Sam get her pet rabbit Houdini settled in. You need to find Houdini and then give him food and water. I've done this before. First, find Houdini. Look around the room. Move the cursor over items that look interesting. Click on anything that gives you a special cursor. Okay, we can skip this. Okay. The first time I played this game, I didn't know what that was that scared her away. Like, I thought that was something that would get revealed later in the game, because I couldn't tell what it was, and then I read later it was a bat. So I'm like, oh. So I guess that just doesn't really have anything to do with anything. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, look. What's this over here? Oh, the baby eating the plant. Hi, baby. Houdini! There you are! Are you scared? Or just up to your usual tricks, you furball, you? I was worried! Stay put for at least ten like minutes, that. will you? <laughs> like, you like being held by your ears, buddy? Okay, I need to get you food and water. Anything in my bag? Oh, a carrot. I still have some Houdini goodies left. That rabbit eats better than I do. A clean, crisp deck of cards is one of the necessities of life. Hey, Mom and Dad. Looks like the rain didn't hurt you. That's cool. Your parents look very vintage, like they're from like the 1940s or something. A letter from the foster care department back in D.C. I don't need to take it. I'm almost done reading it. Trey Gothic. I don't need to carry it around, though. I read that when I was in high school, and I found it very depressing. Like, I'm like, oh, cool, this is going to be a cool horror book, and it just made me sad. The Daedalus Club London. I will get there, one way or another. Take it. My first magic book. The tricks are kind of juvenile, but the basic techniques are timeless. I never go anywhere without it. Houdini's water bottle. Unfortunately, it's empty. Amazing considering how soaked I got last night. A towel is the most massively useful thing a hitchhiker can have. A girl traveling alone has to have more than a few tricks up her sleeve. All I have is five pounds. I should never have bought that piece of crap bike in Liverpool. It wiped me out. Okay. Looks like there's some water over here. This fits Houdini's cage. Yeah, we need water for it first, though. This fits Houdini's cage. I think I have to right-click on it. I'm like, I know what to do. I've played this game before and skipped the tutorial and then just... There we go. Houdini must be thirsty. I should put this on his cage. So do it. Go wild. Yum. Nice, cool water. There you go, thirsty boy. Were you traveling in my bag? That's scary. <laughs> this needs to go to Houdini. Oh, I keep forgetting to left-click on everything. I'm not used to that. There you go. The hard stuff. Don't overdo it now. You never could hold your carrots. Hooray. Okay, let's go outie. I need to get out of here before they figure out I'm an imposter. But first, I need to find a map, or bus schedule, or something so I can figure out where I'm going. I, like, very surprised they let you in at all, because, like, 
I don't know, I would never try something like this because I would just assume that the people hiring me would know the name and the face of the person that they'd be hiring. So that's bold. But it like worked, that's the sad thing. <gasps> Fancy ass house. Not a soul. Pretty quiet, too. Press the space bar to turn the hotspot labels on and off. This function is on the interactive zones on the screen. Cool. Do I have to continue, I guess? I guess continue and skip is the same thing. Uh, okay. Hotspots. Lots of stuff. Hello, Lady Portrait. She's beautiful. Kind of a Grace Kelly type. Wonder who she is. We gonna find out. Look at that statue of a veiled woman. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but it's sinister as hell. I love it. That's not something you'd want to run into while stumbling upstairs in the dark. Let's see. Oh, envelope for me. I'm gonna turn the hot spots off. It says, for the new assistant, hopefully by the time they figure out I'm not that person, I'll be long gone. Can I take it? It says, for the- Oh, I guess not, because technically not the new assistant. I no one in here. Ooh, can put out some music. Odd place for a stereo. Maybe it calms down the patients at mealtime. There are a lot of CDs in here, but no maps or addresses. I think I need to go to the kitchen. There's someone in there. I better not. Well, where am I supposed to go then? I wouldn't even be sneaking around this house. I would be like just straight up booking it out of there. There are no maps or bus schedules lying around. Not even an address. That's helpful. Okay. Uh, let's do hotspot. Do, 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 do. Someone must read a lot. Someday, I'll have a library. You know, this house is downright creepy. And I'm an ex-goth. I know creepy. Ex-goth? You still seem goth to me. What is a fire dog? Is that a British term? It doesn't look like anyone's used that fireplace in ages. I don't smoke. I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. Can I use the computer to like look up shit? That computer is ancient. It might as well be an abacus. Oh wow. Are these some of the doctor's patients? Um, interesting. Can I look at photos? Looks like family photos. Nothing of use to me in there. Ooh, I could really use a bit of that. Even 20 pounds. I'm stone broke. But it's the magician's creed. Never take cash or other valuables. 
I just can't. I think that'd be most people's creeds. At least, you know, honest ones. Lovely. Just what I want to see when I'm waiting in a doctor's office. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. Dr. David Stiles. Neurobiology. Hope he finds the assistant he's looking for. Yep, because I don't know shit about neurobiology. It's locked. Oh, locked door. I gotta get in there. I'm gonna turn off the hotspots now. Oh, wait. Have I looked at this? There's no, you are here on the globe, unfortunately. Well, I assume I am in England. Near Oxford. Or it, is Oxford the town or the college? I feel like it's both. Let me go back upstairs. Go. Can I go back upstairs? Oh, I gotta wait for the door icon. Do to do, do, do. Which door? Spare room. Is that That's room? probably another bedroom. I better not open it. The occupant might get annoyed. Some dusty old armor in there. Those gargoyles look like they were taken from an old building or something. Looks like a monk, or Quasimodo post-surgery. Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. David's room. She's gonna barge hmm. in there and be like, what up? Looks like it might be another bedroom. Don't think I'll go there. Okay, maybe there's something for me to look at outside. teleport or do I have to wait? Or I can run. Oh yeah, I can teleport. Okay. I think I noticed a plaque yesterday. I should have a look. Plaque, plaque, plaque. House. Cool house. A bit creepy, but I kind of like that. Where can I go back exterior for the plaque? I know some people technically consider using hotspots as cheating. I don't, because I like to look at everything. Um, and sometimes I'm dumb and I can't find things. Where's the plaque? Garage trees, tower statue. Hello. I love all this old gothic stuff around here. Neat house. Okay. So... I need to find this mother effing plaque. Can I not tell it? Okay, there we go. Mm, entry plaque. Here we go. Cool house. No, I want to look at the plaque. Cool house. Oh, wait. The Oh, the entry plaque plaques right there. Cool how? I just want cool to put how? the entry plaque. Oh, I have to do the magnifying glass.
Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? And this seemed like such a good idea last night. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. There you are. I was just going to see if you was awake. Oh, hi. You aren't sneaking out on us, are you? Me? Nah. Well, come and get your breakfast. I've got eggs, porridge, toast and ham. Be a shame to let it go cold. No shit? I mean, thanks. <laughs> Yay, free food. God, I'm starving. I guess if they aren't onto me by now, another half an hour won't hurt. Head, dear. Don't be shy about it. Mm, it smells amazing. I didn't know how you took your eggs, so I made them the way I like them. But I can do them however you like starting tomorrow. I'm not picky. Ta. One way is easy as another. People need a good breakfast, I always say. Oh my god. These are the best eggs I've ever tasted. <laughs> well now, himself does like them fresh. We've got a farmer drops them off every few days. Bit peckish, are you? What do they feed you over there at Oxford? Oxford? Um, the usual. And I never saw anyone in my life as cold, wet and tired as you last night. Oh, we didn't walk all that way. There's a bus stop just down the road, no more than 20 yards. Takes you right to Oxford Centre. Wow. Ooh, still going on about them eggs, are you? No, I just... I can't believe my luck lately. Well, before you go off, himself left instructions for you on the door to the basement. Himself? Oh, <laughs> I mean Dr. Stiles, of course. He's working down in the lab this morning, doesn't want to be disturbed. Now, I know you must have a question or two. Don't be shy about asking, Samantha. It's Sam, but funny. I don't remember telling you my name last night. There was a tag on your backpack when I washed your clothes. You really should update it to your Oxford address, dear. Wouldn't do having someone ship it back to the States if you lost it now, would it? <laughs> oh, and I'm Mrs. Dalton. I did tell you, but I suspect you were half asleep at the time. Totally. Who all lives here? Lord, it must seem a big old empty place to you. Sometimes I forget. It's only himself and me. Just two people? In this huge old house? He can't abide company. Look, he can be difficult. I'll never say otherwise. But no matter what you've heard over there at that university, don't believe it. All I ask is that you make up your own mind. If you can do that, and not be faint of heart, you'll be all right. Okay. But whatever you do, don't mention I don't even know what accident you're talking about, so we're we're good. This point though, I'd be like, oh no, what did I get myself into? I saw a plaque by the door. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. What does that mean exactly? The center was Dr. Stiles' idea. He started it with his friend, Dr. Hellborn. How excited they were. It was busy too, or starting to be. Then something happened and well, he closed it. What does that mean? Cognitive abnormality. Didn't that school tell you anything? Dr. Stiles worked with patients who had strokes or brain injuries and the like. Always said those kinds of cases helped him understand the workings of the brain better than looking at a healthy one. He's retired now? Well, you could say that. Hasn't seen patients in years. How far are we from London? London? Oof, hour and a half, I'd say. Car or train would run you about the same. Of course, you'd never catch me driving in London. Oh, not for a million pounds. That's not bad. Far enough away to be grateful, not so far as to be sorry. <laughs> or so the locals say. You know, before I came to Oxford, I would have never imagined there was so much uninhabited countryside so nearby. Oh, there's plenty of country around here. 
and thank heavens for it. <laughs> How long does the bus take to get into Oxford Centre? 30 minutes, like. Makes a lot of stops on the way. By the by, what college are you in? Did the Student Employment Office say it was St Edmund Hall? Or am I thinking of something else? Mm, it is St Edmund Hall. Sounds about nice right. Nice college from what I've heard. Hmm. So, what exactly does Dr. Stiles' assistant do around here? I mean, as you see it. Never had one before. I'm sure they told you at the Student Employment Office. It's mainly paperwork he wants done. Files sorted, computer work, things of that sort. You should have plenty of time to keep up with your studies. I told him there's no use sending over a medical student. He'd never let you touch his actual work. <laughs> I take it you're not in the sciences. Was it the tattoos that gave me away? No hmm. offence, dear. <laughs> what is it that you study? Um, English Lit. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Now, I wanted to ask, will you be wanting the room or will you be staying at the university? The room? The room you were in last night. It's yours whenever you want it. It's empty otherwise, isn't it? Tempting. Meals too. If you're late, I'll leave your dinner in the fridge. I'm sure a girl like you knows how to use a microwave. <laughs> sure. Yeah, free shit sounds good to me. I noticed the painting on the stairway. Beautiful girl. Is that Dr. Stiles' daughter? If you want to get along in this house, that's the sort of thing you don't ask. Ever. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, I'd definitely be like, oh no, red flags. This is the same dialogue. I know they told me this at university, but I'm not sure I remember it correctly. Besides the room and board, the position pays. Well, I never. <laughs> Catch a fever last night, did you? <laughs> I'd have thought that would be the first thing on a student's mind. Sure, but I was looking at a whole list of available jobs, and I'm afraid I might be confusing them. 50 pounds. Right, that's what I thought. Thanks. I don't know how much 50 pounds is. All right, in American dollars, and I'm a, I'm a dumb American. Can I look at things? Okay. Lots of stuff. I don't think I can click on any of this. All right, let's go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yay, deception! What's it say? Zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. Move the item around by holding down the rice mountain button. I don't have a mouse. I have a laptop. Okay. To the new person, so he doesn't know my name. There is one thing for you to do today. Call it a rest, a test, if you will. If you cannot accomplish it, pack your things and return to the campus by evening. I plan to start an experiment, but despite putting up a few of these notices in town, no lost lambs have telephoned. Find me six student volunteers for tonight. Leave your cell phone number with Mrs. Dull and Dr. Styles. Okay, that doesn't well, sound sketch. Well, he's a charmer. And don't get too comfortable, Houdini. Cash paid for experimental subjects for neurobiology experiment, 15 pounds per hour. Register with Dr. Styles, blah, blah, blah. Can I call anyone for information? There's no one I can call. I don't know a soul here. And I can't call a repair shop because I don't have any money. Guess we should go give our number to Mrs. Dalton. Do I have a cell phone? I seem poor. I have a problem. Dr. Styles oh, asked yeah. me to leave my cell phone number with you, but I don't have one. Oh, take mine. My sister's the only one who ever calls me on it, and she's on holiday. Are you sure? Thank you. 
I had one, but there was this incident with a ground squirrel. Ugly. They can be nasty blighters, can't they? Cool, cool. All right. So now that we've explored the house a little bit and set everything up, this seems like a good place to leave off. And so next time we will get started on recruiting people. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.